Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Hello. Missy Jen's birthday, and I'll tell you what, couldn't be a better way and a better present for Missy <clears throat> Jen today. All the agony of the last week and all the sweating and worrying, all the uh, pounding the pavements, burning shoe leather out there, looking for old Domino. And uh, Well, yeah. Missy Jen, you can tell the story. You know, yesterday, guys, I went out uh, late and didn't <clears throat> give up. That's right. right. It was a good was out there too, it's there, <laughs> pooping and hollering, and she went, as you can go and see on the live stream that she did, she went way out all over the God's Acres here in Santa Rosa. Homeless camps. Everything. Homeless camps and everything, <laughs> because we finally got to the conclusion he, that he might have been seeking human, human uh, social companionship. Black or, Labs and, and, that, and right? then like food. So, yeah, black labs are very gregarious dogs. They need <clears throat> right. people. They're not happy to be by themselves. <clears throat> and my theory was, if I went out and made a big gigantic loop, I don't know, maybe my feet, some some scent of mine might carry around the neighborhood just to kind of awaken something. And well, Missy Jen can tell the rest of the story. So, so we got really, really super awesome good news because this morning at approximately 4 a.m., we got arisen out of our sleeps because there was this loud woof, woof, and a scratching at the door. And guess who was at our front door? Domino was at the door, so somehow he must have, <clears throat> I guess, heard Rosie and somehow picked up the scent and followed the trail because, and I can even show you a picture. Yeah, he's back home. He's under house arrest. Yeah, he, he's back home and he's <laughs> under house arrest. But I took a quick picture of him. Here he is. He's all worn out, all he busted was, up. He, he lay down and just like was really all dickered out. So Lost some weight. Um, he really lost quite a bit of weight and he was hungry. But uh, we are really, really, really happy and really relieved. And uh, of course the neighbors... Almost one week to the minute. Right. Almost, yeah, by, by, I guess, an hour, uh, maybe. maybe an hour off, exactly an entire week he's been gone, and finally the, the night sweats, the panic attacks, anxiety attacks, the nightly, every, every time you hear a dog barking at night, you're like standing up in bed, you come running to the window here, you go outside, you turn the lights on, you look, it's finally come to an end. He's finally home. He's safe. Thank God he's not hurt. And he's in course, rough shape, but he's not hurt. But I'm going to tell you what. Missy Jen had a really weird dream on Thursday night. That yeah. uh, It was Wednesday night, actually, that your birthday. He sat right up in bed at 2 o'clock and said, Domino will be coming back on my... Yeah. Uh, I just had a dream that Domino will be coming back and uh, calling and back. scratching at the door on my birthday, early in yeah. the morning on your birthday, and darn if, darn if it didn't come true. So yeah, I woke up and and just jerked up and just said it, and then went back to sleep. It was wasn't that great. So I want to thank everybody for having our back and wishing Matt, Missy <clears> Jen <throat> so. a wonderful uh, birthday. She's been out there today getting her uh, extra little chooches for the uh, GoPro that she had. She's going to go out. We're going to celebrate a special dinner tonight. She has a taste for Mexican. We're going to go to an elegant Mexican place tonight and celebrate a little bit and then uh, baking for our Jewish friends tonight on uh, Hanukkah. Make sure you're around for teeny weeny bikini baking the Friday night edition at 8 p.m. But uh, I sure know many of you are glad for us. Many of you privately <sighs> messaged me and gave me suggestions and uh, told me what to do to to go out there and do a big loop and maybe something will break loose. So. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's the magic key ingredient, and just not giving up. We weren't going to ever give up, 
right? We weren't ever yeah, going to give we up. We were going to, after I had that dream, I, I, uh, I knew he, he will, uh, he will come home. And I think Rosie really contributed to that by going out and. Happy birthday. Putting her son out there. So this makes it the best birthday ever. Thanks for watching, everybody. So, and and also thanks to each and every one of you for your support, your suggestions, and all of your love. And so in return, hugs, love, and kisses to you all. Thank you once again. And happy yeah. birthday, Mrs. Yeah. Jack.